Hey, it's Jackie, and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm recreating some of Clara's hairstyles from Disney's The Nutcracker in the Four Realms. I love this movie so much, it was beautiful on screen, and I had my little notepad as I do when I go to the movies detailing all these hairstyles, so I hope that they're very accurate for you guys. And uh, if you dial back like the crown and some of the bows, it's very wearable as well. And because I am doing a series of hairstyles, I will be switching up my curls and I'm trying out a bunch of new wands. So thank you to Foxy Bay for teaming up with me. I'm going to show you guys the 7-in-1 interchangeable wand set. And I've been using interchangeable wands like this since I started my channel. They are just so convenient for giving me tons of variety. And also you get the best bang for your buck when you have one of these. You can just create like any style. So I will have a link down below if you want to check out Foxy Bay's holiday bundles. They have tons right now and you can use the code Jackie for 60% off site-wide. Pretty amazing. So thank you to Foxy Bay for hooking us up with that. And also more reasons why I love this wand set. One, it's in rose gold, so it's really pretty. And this rose gold titanium is healthier for your hair and plus it really holds your curls. So if you're someone whose hair doesn't curl that well, you should try out this wand, especially because there's a heat control here. So you can dial it up if you have thicker hair and maybe need more heat to get that curl or dial it down if you have thinner hair and want to be more gentle. So this is the reverse wand and it's what I used on my hair for this look. And I hope you guys like all the styles coming up. If you are new to my channel and you love TV and movie recreations, be sure to subscribe for more videos like this and thumbs up. Also, if you want to let me know your favorite holiday movie, I'd love to know in the comments and let's get started. I loved this Princess Clara style that was at the end of the movie, so I thought I would start with it because it was my favorite. And I did add in two three clip wefts of extensions, that's why my hair looks super thick here. And I'm spraying in some of Foxy Bay's heat protectant before I go in with the reverse wand. To make life a little bit easier, I'm separating the top half and I'm going to work at the bottom. Halfway down my length, I'm starting to wrap the hair around the barrel and I want these curls to be face framing so they're going to twirl inwards towards my face. And the reverse wand goes from smaller to larger and it gives tresses tapered small to medium sized ringlets and you can make this look more natural if you do curls facing inwards and outwards but for this look, we're going to keep it all uniform. Hopefully you could tell, but as I dropped each curl from the barrel, I held it in my hand as it cooled so that it would stay for a long time. As always, I really like to tease the crown section just a little bit to make sure that it looks good from all angles. And here's the cool part. From along the hairline, we're going to take that barrel again and wrap it going backwards. And then once you let that drop, brush it out and create a small twist and then just pin so you have a little poof and we're going to do this a couple of times again like I said along the hairline and you get a really beautiful face framing princessy look <laughs> especially when we add the bows I've done four little sections now and we really want one nice ringlet in the front curling inwards. Really let this one cool in your hand and there is a glove that comes with this set. I'm just like immune to heat on my hands because I curl my hair so much. And then the rest of the hair take in thicker sections and add to the curl pattern. Gotta love hairspray to keep it all in place. And then on the other side of the part, same steps of curling away from the hairline. Brush out the small section, give it a little tease if needed, or just twist and pin. So easy, right? And I did three sections here, and then the rest of the hair, I'm bringing it all to the other side. Finishing the curls, and add a pin at the back to keep any shorter pieces from falling off your shoulder. How gorgeous is this for a holiday party? I think it's super elegant and mature, but then you can make it really fun with ribbons as well. Group that section of ringlets from the front, adding in a mini plastic elastic. Yeah. 
and then detail between each bump with the bow. I wedged mine in with a bobby pin through the center of the bows I created. And then throwing on a crown I got from England, pretty fitting, and that's the first style. Also, I still am figuring out how to film hairstyles at my new place, so please let me know if you like this setup. These next two styles are seriously easy, and this first look was the opening scene. Clara had really pretty messy pigtails and you just want to start with the center part and I'm using a vintage inspired brush here. Thought it was a fun little touch and I don't have extensions in but I am going to add in a one four clip weft for extra length. Taking the smallest barrel in the set, this is the 19 millimeter wand. I have the heat temperature set pretty low and I'm wrapping it around portions of my hair really quickly and then letting it go and roughing it up just to have some more texture throughout the hair. And now the swoop from either side of the center part. Taking a one inch section or so, twist upwards and then pin right by the ear and then loosen that up. Gather the hair loosely on either shoulder, and then with a small plastic elastic, add in and then just readjust the hair going into the pony so it looks super worn in. Still using that 19mm barrel, I've cranked up the heat and taking small section by small section, create tiny ringlets at the bottom of your hair. Happy smiles and the wishes And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe Tell me one thing And I added in a really cute ribbon, I got this from Papyrus, hopefully I'm saying that right And then just cut it smaller, um, I think it adds kind of that vintage feel And then tease the bottom for more of a uniform length to the curls I wasn't sure how I'd like this style on me, but I think it's really cute and I'll for sure be trying these pigtails out again. Classic Clara style is super simple and again starts with the swoop from either side of the center part, but this time we're going to do it a little tighter and higher as we're going to pin at the back of the head with a bobby pin. And when you twist, make sure you're twisting upwards and not downwards, it'll just create a slightly different of a look. And now let's curl. I've switched out for another barrel. This is the 25mm spiral. Super springy curls and again I'm curling all in one direction, starting on my left side curling towards my face. And by the time we're around at the right side, the curls will be going away from the face. I am in a mirror, by the way, so if my rights and lefts were off, it's actually right, but opposite, you get it. <laughs> okay, and make sure to curl the shorter hair at the back from the swoop. Little bit of teasing here, hairspray, and then I DIY'd this purple bow. I totally went classic YouTube beauty guru and I'm wearing PJ pants with this purple bralette. I could not find a similar top or dress, but this would be such a cute holiday hairstyle for whatever you're wearing and it'll really dress it up. Forewarning, I filmed this one in a weird way because I needed to see the viewfinder because I don't have a second mirror to see what the heck I'm doing at the back of my head. So the camera's low and it's overexposed, but hopefully you can still follow along because it's a pretty simple style just using a couple twists. 
I still have my extensions and the curls in so we got lots of hair to work with and gather the hair in the back like a regular low pony and then separate the bottom half and tie off with an elastic. Then add in a bun maker, you can find these at Claire's or even at um, drugstores. And then spread the base of the pony around the donut shape. Take another elastic and secure this in place, leaving the ends out for later detail. Now let's divide the top section into two and create a twist to cross over the bun horizontally, pinning with bobby pins. Then create an S shape and pin one more time across the bun. With the remaining hair up top, twist again and create an S shape in between the first twists. With the bottom pieces still hanging down, twist very tightly in small sections and wrap around the base of the bun to tie it all together. Use lots of bobby pins of course, and I like my styles a little bit looser so I took out a couple face framing pieces, but you can make this super polished too. This bun varies throughout the movie so this was just my version completed with a soldier-esque jacket. Let me know what you think. And I did really really want to do the really complicated look that had a lot of loops and like ribbons and pearls, but I ran out of time for this video to add it in and plus I thought this was getting long anyway, so I decided to recreate that over on my Instagram so be sure to come check it out. I hope you enjoyed these Clara from the Nutcracker hairstyles and if you did make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for more beauty tutorials. If you are interested in the Foxy Bay set or any of the Foxy Bay wands there will be a link down below and remember to use code Jackie for 60% site wide. Pretty awesome. And please tag me if you ever try out any of these styles if it's a hairstyle a makeup look because I love to see your faces and feature you in my videos so here are a couple of my new faves. And last thing, I do have a vlog channel, so if you didn't know, I document some of the trips I go on over there, and it's a really good time. I just uploaded my Montreal vlog, so you should check it out, and uh, I think that's it. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next one.